Okay. Um, does the FBI have jurisdiction on the Biggie case? No, the FBI doesn't have jurisdiction on local murders unless those murders have something to do with a federal crime. And murder is not a federal crime unless it's a murder of a public official or a, uh, a special agent. Um, but no, they don't have jurisdiction in typically unless there's some nexus to a federal crime. There's no federal crime in Biggie's case. Um, they had jurisdiction into public corruption. And so if it were true that, you know, the LAPD was involved in a cover-up or that David Mack had committed a murder under, under the color of authority, which is a civil rights issue. So if those things had been present, then the FBI could claim some jurisdictional ownership of an investigation. So they looked into the public corruption aspect of it, um, trying to determine if David Mack and the LAPD uh, were in any way, shape, or form involved in Biggie's murder. Okay, and is that what Phil Carson's was investigating? He was assigned to the public corruption unit, yes, uh, at the time. Okay, can you, can you explain all the alleged eyewitnesses and why you did or did not believe them um, you know that Phil Carson always always talks about these certain witnesses that were key to to the story, but obviously you had um, you know looked into them previously. Can you tell me you know some of some of them and why you found them either to be credible or not credible? I think the one, and I could be mistaken because I haven't listened to everything that Phil Carson's had to say. I've listened to some of his statements on a on a podcast and I've read some, you know, um, some articles that have been sent to me. But um, I think he relies most heavily on Eugene Deal as his found, as the support for his theory. Well, Eugene Deal um, saw very little, really less than little C's and G money. Uh, Eugene Deal saw a guy that caught his attention in the parking lot and I uh, just had an uneasy feeling, um, which was natural because they've already had some conflict with similar looking people the night before, um, these Nation of Islam guys. And these guys were around, they were at the hotels, they were doing security um, at some of these venues. And there was, you know, several of them there that night um, that, were been, that were identified. So in his mind, he, you know, his, his, uh, Antennas go up when he sees a guy that he thinks is kind of eyeballing him and then he sees another guy who's more dressed more like a gang member maybe um, And so he's just being aware of what's taking place around him and uh, Of course then the shooting takes place, but he's in a vehicle um, far ahead considerably um, in front of Biggie's in front of Biggie's vehicle and so this all happens behind him. Boom, 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 boom. Turn around, let's go back, we go back, and they see you know, what had happened. And I think somebody in his car had, had, had looked back to see if Biggie and the rest of the crew were gonna be able to get through the intersection with them because there was a, uh, there was, the, the light had turned red. So I think they looked back to see if Biggie was gonna be able to get through the intersection and stay with them. And that person looks back and says that they think they, they saw a gun come out of a vehicle and then of course the shooting takes place and they quickly turn around and now you can see the whole thing on videotape when you um, look at them all, you know, congregated in the middle of the intersection. And, uh, and then they rush Biggie to the hospital and uh, he's basically dead on arrival. So Eugene Deal, you know, here's a guy in his car say, gun, and then they turn around and then, you know, they all start talking. What the fuck, what happened, what'd you see? And he starts to connect some comments to a guy that he thinks that he's, or a guy that he saw in the garage. Um, but there's really no way to connect the two. There's no way to know whether it's the same. The, the clothing description is completely different um, from who he describes versus the description that these other two uh, eyewitnesses describe. Um, so, you know, it's inconsistent. And um, 
but because they want to continue to pursue this Amir Mohammed theory, um, they'll, they don't care about the inconsistencies. They don't care about the, you know, the lack of support. They just care about connecting dots at the expense of other dots that are interfering with the picture that they want to draw. So, um, Eugene Deal would be eviscerated on the witness stand, especially today, because there's been so much extra stuff that he's added that can be disproven that would discredit him. You know, chasing the car and, you know, the car going up a hill. There's no hill over there. And the car making a turn um, the, the wrong direction, which it's all, it's all contrary to information that we know to be true and it's contrary to information that he himself provided at the beginning. Okay.